What's up beautiful people? In this video we are going to create the perfect soil to grow your peppers, tomatoes, and other flowering plants just like that. Let's go! What's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Alright beautiful people, so we are back again to do some soil. I am also excited about creating the perfect soil that's going to help grow my bell peppers, my jalapeno peppers, my sweet peppers, my tomatoes, and other flowering plants just like that. And we are going to do it. As we know, soil is one of the most important pieces and elements to your gardening and to your gardening, right? Without the perfect soil, without the perfect medium, your seeds will not be able to germinate and grow and produce a harvest that you so desire. So we are gonna do just that in my keyhole raised bed, okay? This one is gonna be different as opposed to that one, but we'll get there, okay? We'll, we'll get there. It's it's a whole process, but it starts with this stuff. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Ricky Jones Jr. I love doing gardening videos and other things like that. So if you are interested in gardening, first time gardening, beginner gardening, or a uh, extreme gardener go ahead and subscribe. We can use your help in the comment sections below. And also, let me know where you're streaming from. Let me know where you're viewing from. Let me know where your garden is located, okay? And so, mine is in the front yard in this respect. But at the end of the day, we are gonna go ahead and get it to it. And I have a giveaway that I want to share with you all as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started because you may not be into that. But for those that are into this soil, let's get our hands dirty with the perfect mix. All right, great people. So the elements of a great soil for your bell peppers, for your tomatoes, for your jalapeno peppers, for your flowering vegetables and plants and things like that is a soil that's rich in potassium. Because with potassium, that is what helps flourishes the flowers and encourages the flowers and fuels the flowers to grow which is ultimately the parts and the things that we eat and things like that okay so you want to make sure you can do that and you could do so by having like banana peels in your raised bed okay which i do have some banana peels in there i have a extra extra large amount of banana peels in there which i've had um you know just fermenting we'll call it just cooking in the bad boy in the raised bed okay but then that's one element the other metal element is you want to have great soil okay great soil goes a long way and what i choose to use is organic soil because i just choose to have an organic garden and use natural things in the garden knowing that this will be the things in which my family eat i eat and i want it to be as great and as pure as possible also we're going to use some perlite we're also going to use some cocoa core and we're going to mix all those things together add them to the raised bed and also some compost which i pulled from my compost bin out back Add a little fertilizer in there and we will be good to grow, okay? And I mean it just like that. And so let me show you what I'm talking about after I told you what I was gonna do. <laughs> All right, so after we have a nice base, we're gonna start off with the mixture. I'm gonna start off with a, a nice amount of soil. I was expecting that, obviously. So with this soil, I just want to put in some perlite, like so. Again, remember that the perlite has no nutritional value or substance within it. It's just to help keep your soil nice, loose, and fluffy, um, keeping away the clumps and allowing for the roots to properly spread and grow deep down how you want them to do and how you want them to grow. And so once you have a nice amount, as I do here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cocoa core. I use cocoa core. Some people use peat moss, which is, you know, of the same family. The whole idea of this product, of this process, is to add an element in which allow for the soil to remain nice and moist, nice and wet, and retain its moisture. And that's what the cocoa core does. That's what the peat moss does. And you'll be, good to go from here and so this is the second layer we'll call it of the soil before we add our compost so let me go ahead and add this down on both sides and then we'll do the compost before we do the fertilizer let's go so here's one of the big boys look at this bad boy oh yeah I'm excited about that. That's just one of many. 
So now after we've added the soil, we've added the perlite, we added the cocoa core, and then we added the compost. What I'm gonna do now is add more soil to the top um, layer of this just to go ahead and fill it out. Get it, not all the way to the top because you don't want your soil all the way up to the top because you do want to have a, a layer in which the water can rain down, come down, sit down, rest down, and soak through your raised bed itself and not flow over, slosh over, and things like that because you can lose your seeds if you're seeding directly into the raised bed and you can lose your soil if you do it that way as well. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is add some more soil, add some more perlite, and then we're gonna add some more cocoa core as well before we add the fertilizer at the top. And so I wanna show you that also want to talk about the giveaway so make sure you stay tuned okay This week's giveaway is all about you, okay? And I want to connect you with the online garden group that we are starting on this channel. And the way I wanna do it is to give three free one month memberships, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is cash app you the cost of the membership, which is only $2.99. I'm gonna cash app it to you. You'll have access to everything that you will be a part of in the online community, okay? So all you have to do to be a part of this contest, to have a chance to win, is to go to our new Instagram page, okay? Go follow it, uh, comment on one of the photos and say, I'm from the YouTube channel, and that will put you into the running. Again, top three a video will come on Saturday, which will let us all know who will be those three people that will be within the garden community, okay? I'm gonna start you off just to let you know all the different things that are going on within the garden community that is online starting on this YouTube page, okay? And so again, connecting us all around this world. That's the goal. And so with that being said, run, run, run. It'll be a link below to the Instagram page. All you have to do, click it, follow it, comment on one of the photos, let me know that you came from the YouTube channel and we in there, okay? All right, y'all, let's get back to bed. <laughs> All right, great people. Now that I have it to the level in which I want it to be, which that soil looks also oh good, it's always good to have a raised bed full of soil as opposed to like not, you know, it just it just looks great. And uh, I'm excited how this one did. Now the one back there, you may be wondering, why does that look like that? Well, that one has my compost on top, which that one's just a regular, regular raised bed, nothing special added. But to make this one go over the top, I'm gonna add my organic fertilizer, which I use Sustain, and I'm also gonna use some bone mill which helps for the growth of the roots okay and so I'm gonna add it to the top and I'm gonna water it with my solution that I showed you with before which is filled with banana peels and water I'm gonna fertilize it then we're gonna water it and then you know we'll be good to grow from there with the other elements that are to come so let me do that show you what you could do and then also recommend some things regarding your banana peels Well, that was interesting as I was dumping the water out, pouring the water out on the raised bed. The bananas just wanted to escape. So I let them do what they did, which is fall into the raised bed. And I just wanted to comb over the banana peels into the soil because you don't want to just leave them out and things like that because it will attract fruit, gnats and fruit flies and just pests that you do not want. I promise you don't want those things. So turn it over into your soil and you will be good to go from there. And so with that being done, now we have a successful batch of soil a success raised bed that is ready again for your peppers tomatoes and other flowering plants other flowering vegetables because of the rich 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 soil that is filled with potassium okay and just a little tip what i do recommend my family eats a lot of bananas my son loves bananas and what i do is just keep them in our uh, juice pitchers water pitchers water jugs and things like that so that i can just easily put water in it 
fertilize and water the soil itself but then as you saw there I can then dispose of the banana peels after you know I've done maybe two or three waterings with the banana peels so with that being said you can do it too and that concludes this video so I hope you go ahead and go to the Instagram page lock in let me know so I can plug you in to the online family okay with that being said, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Happy growing. I'm excited for what will all be in this here keyhole raised bed. And uh, we'll do this one on Wednesday because I'm excited for doing that one, which will be rich and ready for root vegetables. Aha! <laughs> Let's go, y'all. See you in the next video. Peace!